Are you curious about the cost of living in Seattle versus Bellevue? It's a good question because this is a very expensive place to live. The whole Puget Sound region, the Pacific Northwest, here on the coast, a uh, beautiful maritime climate is quite pricey. So today we are going to be diving into the cost breakdown of how much it costs to live in these kind of twin cities on the east and west side of Lake Washington here in Puget Sound, Seattle on the west, Bellevue on the east, so stay tuned. Hey, thanks so much for watching. This is Emily Cressy with Home Smart Real Estate here in the Seattle, Washington area. And if this is your first time on the channel, oh, I'm so excited. I want to welcome you and say how glad I am that you're here. This channel is for helping people who are relocating to the Seattle Bellevue area kind of get to know what it is like here. Everything, sleeping, eating, breathing, working, driving, commuting, paying for your bills, everything that you might want to know about living in Seattle or Bellevue, the cost of living in the different neighborhoods, the suburbs, your options. Ugh. It's a lot of information. We publish videos every week to try to get that information out to you. And if you have any additional questions, I would love to help. So please feel free to type those in the YouTube channel comments or more directly, if you have a specific question for me, you can reach out. Uh, my website is homeproassociates.com. You can give me a buzz or a text or uh, whatever else you do via phones these days at 206-578-3438. And if you have any additional questions, that's probably the best thing to do. We love having people reach out to us. We have a lot of people relocating to the area who need a real estate agent and end up working with us. So that is part of the, the purpose of this channel, but the primary purpose is to get you the information that you need because I always feel smart people can make their own great decisions when they have the information in front of them that is most important. So uh, as you're relocating, you can always get a hold of me when you're moving back here to Seattle or Bellevue. Uh, otherwise, keep doing your research and your homework and this channel is here to help. So let's dive into the cost of living between Seattle and Bellevue. We're moving to the Seattle area. You probably get the good news from your employer. You've got a job, you've got this really high salary. It looks fantastic. And so now you're like, yes, I'm moving. I'm coming to the Puget Sound. Let's find a place to live. Let's figure out where we want to be kind of within driving distance of work, right? So that's one of the main things that people look at when they're coming to the area. And sometimes their employer, especially some of these big tech hubs, or maybe for their spouse, they could go on either side of the lake. Seattle and Bellevue are just separated by a 10 minute drive over a bridge through Lake Washington. So they're kind of all blended into the same metro area. But of course they have very different um, demographics, city council ways of running, things like that. So we're gonna look at what the specifics are when it comes to the money, 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 right? Money, 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 money. Unless you lived in California, Manhattan, Honolulu, some other place with a really high cost of living, you're gonna have some sticker shock when you come to the Seattle metro area. We have quite a high cost of living index and Bellevue in fact is 199.7 on this cost of living index, which is super high. 100 is average. So Bellevue is very expensive. It's about twice average, I guess that tells us. And Seattle is somewhere in the middle. Seattle is 167. So we have 100 is average. Seattle is 67% higher than average. And Bellevue is twice average when it comes to the overall cost of living. So you might wanna look at that salary that you're getting, or if you're still negotiating on a salary or thinking about whether you wanna buy a house here with that salary, just imagine whatever your current budget is and double it. Imagine what your current salary is and double it. If you're living in Bellevue versus an average town USA, any town USA, right? then um, your costs are essentially gonna be 2X what they are right now. Maybe you live in another big city where the costs are somewhat higher than average, 
but um, you can look that up. And where I'm looking up this data is a website called bestplaces.net. So you can go there and check this out and really compare on your own the different costs maybe compared to where you live now and where you're planning to go. But that being said, Bellevue is 2X and Seattle is 67% higher than the average cost of living index. And when you're comparing the two cities, Bellevue is more expensive on almost every front. Okay, so let's look at these. They're equal on health. Um, they're for utilities. Bellevue is 3% more for um, food and groceries. Bellevue is 3% more. So they're not off by a lot. And Seattle is actually more expensive on only one factor, which is transportation. And I'm guessing this is because there's very limited parking in downtown Seattle. So they really encourage everyone to take the bus or public transportation or else you've got to sit in traffic for a long time to drive your car there only to pay 300, 500 bucks a month, $20 a day, $40 a day to park your car in a parking garage downtown. If you live in a condo, you can buy condos there where there's no actual parking in the parking garage for your vehicle. So you could live there and still not have a parking spot. So parking is really at a premium. And that's my guess as to why um, the transportation costs are higher. It doesn't matter that much. Uh, there's great public transportation and um, you know there could be other things like fuel taxes, but everyone's got a Tesla now. So <laughs> I don't have a Tesla. I like gas powered cars, but if you have a Tesla, that's okay. Um, I'm just seeing a lot of them on the roads. And when you go, it's funny, you go to the Google uh, office in Fremont and you can see like the low end Teslas, those are for the, the early Google people. And then you have the mid range Teslas, that's for the mid range engineers, right? And then all the senior executives and VPs, I'm sure are the ones driving the very expensive high end top of the line Teslas. But there are a lot of Teslas down there in the Google parking lot. So uh, keep an eye out for that. Anyway, so transportation is the only cost that's anticipated to be higher in Seattle. I'm making a smart guess that that's based on parking, but I don't know that that's, um, I don't know what all the, the numbers are behind these uh, figures that they come up with. Uh, the other thing that I really want to point out is the main differential is housing costs. So the median home price in Seattle is significantly lower than the median home price in Bellevue. And bear in mind that this can be skewed a little bit because of condominiums. There are a lot of condominiums and townhouses in Seattle, which tend to have a lower average price point than um, a single family house. There are certainly townhomes and condominiums in Bellevue, but there may not be as many since that's Kind of a newer part of town. Anyway, the median home cost in Seattle is $851,000. So that's just to get an average home. And I would say this would be an older home, maybe a smaller home, uh, could be a fancy townhouse or condo in an urban location. It could be more of a fixer upper. It could be a nice tidy home, a little bit more on the outskirts. But um, these median home costs, if you stacked up all the homes that were for sale and found the one in the middle, that's the one that's the median or average uh, in this sense. Uh, on the Bellevue side, the median home is $1.2 million now. So that's actually 27% uh, higher than the homes in Seattle. So just, just to be aware that for the same home, you're going to pay more in the Bellevue area. And then there are other housing costs that are, they say it's 20% less in Seattle, but the idea there being, you know, taking care of your home, getting the roofer, getting the siding, getting the window cleaner, getting the painter, the carpet um, and maintenance, as well as, you know, property taxes, utilities, and that type of a thing. So overall Bellevue is just more expensive but the main place that we're seeing that extra expense 
is in housing. So if you are in Bellevue and you can control your housing costs in a way that's comfortable with your budget, the rest of it should take care of itself. There shouldn't be a significant differential elsewhere um, in the housing cost spectrum. And overall, looking at the big picture, we're seeing that um, Seattle, again, is about 16% less expensive than Bellevue. And of course, you know, if you drive through Seattle, you might start to get a feel for why that is. There's more crime, uh, homelessness, tent camping, graffiti, vandalism, drugs, break-ins, slow police response. Uh, the Seattle city has really been struggling with a lot of these issues as they strive to create equity and social justice by not enforcing their rules and then, you know, have crime and people taking advantage of the situation. So that's kind of what's going on. That's part of why Bellevue is fantastic. It has good schools. It's nice and clean. It feels safe. So um, things to think about. I have lived in the Seattle area all my life, so I've certainly seen it change, and I do feel like this is somewhat of a pendulum. You know, business owners are complaining to the mayor. We have a new mayor who seems a little more engaged in trying to fix these things, but for a long term, sure bet, I, I think you'll end up doing well in both cities, but for your current standard of living and that type of a thing, if you can afford it, a lot of people choose to go on the east side. If you can't afford the Bellevue side, Seattle is going to be okay as well. Let me know if you have questions because if you're interested in specific issues like crime, schools, commute, uh, view property, luxury property, uh, bargain property, anything like that, we can kind of hone in and help you find which neighborhoods are going to be the best combination of factors to meet your needs. So. I can't help you if you don't call me, so feel free to give me a buzz. Drop me an email through my website, homeproassociates.com. You can also text me at this number, um, email me the regular way, whatever is best or easiest for you. I'm here to help. I'm looking forward to connecting with you, and I'm a real person, I'm a mom, uh, I'm a real estate investor, and I'm a broker. So. If there's anything that you need as you're relocating to the Seattle or Bellevue area, please feel free to reach out. Take care and I'll see you soon.